Are we holding for that plane? Word break in that wall. Alex, I am tall and I'm also freakishly handsome. And we have a lot in common because I too am a massive fan of platinum winning Grammy recording artist Tom Petty. Yay! But that's not what it was for. I was just being petty. She wore the hat all summer. I thought that was a Tom no, Petty you hat. Think they would let me wear that. That's copyrighted. Nothing copyrighted. Well, your like gameplay was though. free falling. <laughs> And what are my other lines? I don't even remember what they are. I wrote these. They're so funny. They're so funny. Oh, and I won't back down during this interview. I won't back down. Um, Alex, were you pleased with the finale? You were so, you you cast your boat and you were like, really? Like I told you at the round table, I don't like when people screw me. And he pretended to be my friend and it would have been fine. I would have gave him my vote had he not swore to me up and down that we were friends and like this meant everything to him. Get to the jury house and find out he's been lying and he makes fun of me behind my back. Why do you have to make fun of me? I would have just had your vote. Why do you have to make fun of me also and add you know, insult to injury? Paul lost by one vote and you cast exactly, let me count it, one vote. You, Alex, just cost Paul, keep my voice down, an astonishing $450,000. How does that feel? Did you see the part where he told me that he couldn't take me to the final two because he knew that I would win first over him? He could have won an honest, he could have lost an honest way, but he decided to go the dishonest way. So that's on him. Jury management's super important. I, I think it was awesome the way you did it. Um, you got me as a fan because of that. And Thank I you. think I think you killed that. I think you just crushed that finale. And I guess, you know, it's always great to do nice things for people and be benevolent, but let's be honest, it's also awesome to crush someone's dream, and you did that. Yes, you know, pay it forward. He crushed my dream, so I crushed his. He knew that I came to this game to play. I didn't bring one pair of high heels like all the other girls. This is the only dress I brought. I literally came in sports bras and tennis shoes. I came here to win, and he knew that, and he took it from me. Sports bras, tennis shoes, and a Tom Petty hat is what she brought in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to see Alex on next year and please say this in the first person like Alex wants to. Alex wants to go on Big Brother but Alex is scared of Big Brother for her second season. She needs to decompress but I think we can I think we can like rebuild you stronger faster better next year because no throwing any competitions, but not don't throw competitions but uh, the vets do have vets do have an incredible advantage last year Nicole won she was a vet Rachel Riley has won she's a vet Paul came back second place he's a vet Dan Geesling went a really long time he's a vet if you come back as a vet what is that vet secret? Why do they do so well? They know how to play the game and they know how to play it well. They know the ins and outs. They know how to manipulate people because the first time all these people come through, like Nicole was super sweet, Paul was super sweet, they have to get a tougher skin. And I think I think I could have that, but I just, I don't want to play that aggressive. Obviously I can play aggressive, I just don't want to. I think you could come back and absolutely crush it because you clearly have all the characteristics and you just kind of made that one move, which was trusting Paul. And you have to trust someone. It wasn't a terrible move because it easily could have been you, uh, Jason, and Paul in the final three, but it just didn't work out that way. Yes. If we would have, the thing is, is if I would have trusted Cody, I mean, Jason would have went with Cody and his team, we would have actually survived a lot longer because there wouldn't have been as much mutiny in the end either. I think that Cody's trustworthy. I think Jason's trustworthy. I think we could have been the top three. I found something absolutely fascinating, which is when Paul could have saved you with the power of veto. Like he's supposed to, yes. You, <laughs> you said, he said, listen, I'm probably, I, I'm paraphrasing, but he's like, I'm probably not going to do this. And will you go to the jury house and uh, campaign for me? And you're like, yeah, no problem. I'll do that. And I did. I kept my word. I went there. And then everybody was like, you were the biggest joke to ball. And he was making fun of you the entire time. And I was like, okay, no one makes fun of me. So let's do everything analytically. We talked everything out. And I was like, you know what? He played a good game, but he didn't have to play so saltily. He could have played a straight game. He could have just continued on the way he did. But he had to make fun of everybody and call himself the puppet master. The thirst is real. You can't use the phrase puppet master unless you ask the puppet master. And he should not have used that. There's a lot of showmances in the house, um, Jay and Puppet Masters. There's a lot of showmances. You had a, a no-mance, but there was definitely a connection with Jason. Not a physical one, but a, you know, a relationship nonetheless. Let's talk about the physical relationships. There was three of them. I think one's going to last forever. I think one's going to fizzle out, and I think one is going to result in a baby conceived tonight. You tell me which is which and which. Just me. Okay, was, just point. Okay, she said Elena. No, no, it's... no, no, no. I know who might have a baby, but that. Okay, might okay, so thing, just so. wink. No, no. Okay, who's no. gonna have a baby? Cody. Okay, Cody and, and Jessica might be having a. Baby. And then the one that actually might last is Elena and. Um, yeah, but why are you whispering about that? That's okay. That's a good thing. Oh, okay. So she's saying Elena and, and Mark. The fizzle out is the one that everyone knows is already fake. So, I mean, you do the math. There's three couples, and I named two of them. Where's who's the other couple? <laughs> 
Fair enough. So that is, I'm here with Alex, and she says Matt and Raven are going to fizzle out very quickly. Fizzled out. I don't think they're actually a thing. Maybe. Who knows? Relationships are challenging. What questions would you like to ask me? Because I'm amazing at Big Brother, and uh, you have me for about five more seconds. What competitions did you not win that were going to be like, okay, because remember you I didn't win any competition. Win, but like, what kind of competitions were in your season? Oh, uh, f we exactly. were... Exactly, it was a different game back then. <laughs> I'm a Big Brother fan. That was, not, it was a different one. Here, feed, like, raise a garden. Here's a dog. Teach him to do something. I was on a hot dog. Season forever. one was tough for me. Yes, yes. My, but, and I only had one leg, but it grew yeah, back. No, I just have one yeah. leg again. Gosh. <laughs> I thought Curtis should have won season one, but we're all, let's not get into that. We'll be here forever. It's very confusing even for me. Uh, Alex, it has been a pleasure. Been a pleasure. I wish you the best. Thank and you. I would love to see you back next year. What's your hashtag so we can start some sort of campaign for you? Would you like to go on Survivor? Yes, I'd like How about to go on Survivor. Hashtag Alex you. for Survivor. I think I'd be a competition beast, hopefully. But you got to have a, who's, you and Jason on the Amazing Race? So you got to pick one. You got to pick one. Like, um, Ramses wants to go on Star Trek, so we're doing hashtag Ramses for Klingon. So how about hashtag Alex for Survivor? I think you would crush it. Yeah. Survivor, I totally crush it. I, so I mean, can you say it in the, the can you say it with the, the with, can you say it with using your name, Alex, hashtag Alex for Survivor? Alex, hashtag Survivor. No, hashtag, hashtag Alex for Survivor. Hashtag Alex for Survivor. I think we got it. I'm feeling Whoa. it. Thank you. Thank you. They're cutting us off. Thank nice you. to see you.